quick rinse automated rinse system manufactured by American Opta Surgical. This segment will be troubleshooting and helpful hints. Uh, one of the most common problems with the operation of the unit is if there's any air leaks. So make sure that when you're um, using the unit, listen for air leaks. You can hear or see water leaking. Um, check to make sure all your quick connects are tightly snapped in place. If they're not, make sure you hear a click when you snap them in. If there's a white rubber gasket inside the bottle cap, make sure that it's not missing or else you will get air or water leaking from the bottle cap. Uh, one of the other things that you must do is to turn the unit off at the back power switch between uses. Otherwise, if there are any air leaks and you're leaving your unit on for an extended period of time, the motor will continue to pressurize and you may run the risk of burning out the motor on the unit. So always turn it off in between uses. Um, when you're finished using the unit, uh, turn it off, bleed the pressure from the lines uh, before you disconnect the quick disconnects. Otherwise, you're going to get um, fluid uh, exploding out of the unit because of the pressure that's built up inside. So bleed your lines, then remove your tubings. And the last thing is cleaning and um, autoclaving the unit. Because you're, this is a pre-cleaning procedure, it's not necessarily um, required that you sterilize all this, these items. However, uh, the bottle, the cap, and all the tubings are autoclavable, and you can sterilize them. The more you sterilize them, the quicker the plastic and uh, silicone will break down, so you will need to replace these parts eventually. Uh, for the bottle, make sure you're not sterilizing it in a uh, pouch, or it can, um, it will, the pressure inside the pouch will cause the bottle to shrink. Always allow your bottle to cool down after sterilizing, otherwise when you pressurize the unit, your bottle will bubble and expand. Um, and any other questions you have, feel free to contact SACOR. Your sales rep can advise you on any other uh, troubleshooting issues.